This is my interpretation of Christmas Eve out here on the Rock and Key. Hope you enjoy it. It was the night before Christmas, and here on the ranch, our Christmas tree was beaming, a bulb on each branch. The boots were all piled up out on the front porch. Bud in the house made Mama quite coarse. The horses were huddled all snug in their barns because of weather report the cold temps did forewarn. The feed trough was full and the barn door was closed because the critters were out and they might sure end up froze. While Mama and her flannels had climbed into bed, the dog right beside her in a spot for my head. It had been a hard day with our cold weather chores in addition to that one last minute trip to the store. I had just climbed in and wrestled me a spot. Just a few hours sleep was my only thought. When out in the pasture I heard such a noise, too early for coyotes and too late for cowboys. I sprang out of bed, put boots on my feet, feeling quite foolish for thinking my day was complete. When I reached the front porch, I stopped in my tracks at the sight of eight reindeer with really nice racks. They were on the horizon and flying in fast in a great big red sleigh, its track was steadfast. The sound of the sleigh bells was joyous to hear. The tune it was playing told of nothing to fear. A teamster had driven that sleigh to the old. A rotund old mule skinner, but his team he controlled. All dressed in red fur from his head to his boots. His collar snow white with just a hint of black suit. A very large bag was flung over his back, hefted up on his shoulders like a feed sack. The reins he held tight in his glove-covered hands, they were coming in fast, just looking to land. They dropped on my shingles and stopped on a dime. With a quick burst of speed, down the chimney he climbed. I ran back inside in time just to see him scatter the presents there under our tree. He was fast as greased lightning. He worked with pure glee as he hung up those sweet candy canes all over that tree. He filled up the stockings all hung there with care. Them socks made for presents, not the ones you'd wear. He saw me a-watching, though I tried not to stare as he ate all the cookies them youngins left there. He smiled as to say, well, howdy, cowboy. Then he said, Merry Christmas, and that filled me with joy. With a twitch of his nose, he was back on the roof. I heard the quick clatter of 32 little hooves. Then I heard him yell out as they left to the sky. I bet cowboys like you wish your horses could fly. 